Welcome back to E-Fishing. I'm Rodney. We're on our way home. We've been back on the holler again. And uh, we've had a pretty good day today. Uh, we've been catching them on jerkbait today. Mega bass, 110 and 110 plus one. A Lucky Craft, Slender Pointer. And a Rapala Shadow Ramp, I think is what that thing is called. But anyways, it's been fun. Haven't caught a lot of big ones, but we've caught quite a few. It sure has been an interesting day. Uh, a lot different than last week. So, hang on. Let's go show you what happened today. It's been fun. Hope y'all learned something. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe, let your buddies know and all that good stuff. We'll uh, see y'all in a little bit. We're out. So when y'all are running down the lake, keep an eye out, look up at the woods. Y'all might see something kind of interesting. This is either a golden eagle or an immature bald eagle. I'm not real sure, but it was sure a big old bird. So this first point that we uh, pulled into, it was uh, kind of ran out into the lake a little bit, probably 25, 30, 40 yards, something like that. Had some gravel and a little bit of grass growing up on it. It also had a bunch of shad on it. You don't see them gulls flying around. They were dive bombing it pretty hard there. So this first fish, it hit a Mega Bass 110 plus one in uh, Elegany Bone, I believe is what that color is called. But anyways, we had the boat setting out about 15, 20 foot, throwing up into seven or eight on top of that point when this fish hit. Got one, boys. Look at this right here. Oh, my goodness! Look at this. How about that? That pretty? <laughs> now, look right here. Can y'all see in there? Look what they're eating. Look at this. Chew. There's what they're eating. How about that. All right. More picture. All right. There he is. Let's go back. So one of the things that kind of really burns me up is when you're cranking along and you hang into something and it feels like a fish and it ain't a fish, it's fishing line. Now, why can't you all get your fishing line back in the boat? Get it. Don't leave it laying out in the lake for people may like me, especially these big old long pieces like this. Do something about it. How do y'all lose this? 
Huh? How do you lose all of this line? All right, we've moved uh, down the lake a little bit. Uh, we've pulled up on this other little point here. It's not very really deep here. It's probably 15, 20 foot, something like that. But it's kind of flat here. And we got a main lake point and picked up another fish. And this one's hit that Mega Bass 110 plus one and elegant bone again. Look at this thing. Looky, looky here. How about that? Look what he's got. How about that? Look at that big thing. Alright, there it is. Big old large mouth. So here in the spring, when you see shad like this, and you see fish underneath them like this, it's a good sign to pick that jerk bait up and start throwing it. So just look at this picture here and kind of see what's going on. There's a fish right here. He's under these shad. Let's work. <laughs> Look at that. Little one. So we moved on around this point on the inside of it here and there's another little point sticking off to the left here and it's a little shallow right here probably sitting in seven or eight foot of water so i picked up a shad wrap just to see what would happen and picked one up He's a little bitty, but he ate it. Look at that. There he is. He's a little one. <laughs> That's all right. That's a lot of fun. So we made a move over to the other point and also made a bait change. So I ended up putting on a Mega Bass 110 in matte shad, just kind of see if. Uh, See if a color change would make a little bit of difference since it's getting a little brighter. See if I had to eat a, a little more translucent bait. And it didn't take long. Picked one up. But uh, one thing on this uh, mat shad, they weren't eating it real well. So when this fish comes in, take a look at See how he's got it. He's, ah, he's strong. Got it by the, by the rear hook there. So um, pay attention when fish... Uh, Eat your, eat your baits, how they're eating it. There's another one. <laughs> how about that? They ain't real big. I got he hit the snot out of that thing. Hit it like a freight train. That was fun. We'll do it again. So we made another little move here. We're still on a main lake point and we still got that Matt Shad Mega Bass 110 on. Picked another one up here, but just pay attention how he's got it. He's, this one's got it by the rear hook too, so they're while they're better. hitting it, well, they're not they're not eating it head first. So it took me a little while to figure that out on the lake. So you know, again, pay attention to how they're how they're eating your, your bait up. There we go. 
So we made a little move back into this uh, creek here. We're still on a, a secondary creek point here, and it's got some gravel and anything. But I just had a fish hit that bait, and when that happens, don't just wind your bait in. Keep hey, keep working it. it. A lot of times they'll they'll come back around and get that thing. Still throwing that 110 in uh, mat shad. I don't know, folks. Well, up here in the day, they're getting a little smaller. But anyway, it's still a lot of fun because they're crushing these jerk bait, man. They're just. <laughs> so we moved on down to the next little point here and um, still fishing that 110 in Matt Shad. And. Um, Starting to kind of realize something here. These fish are on points. They're not in the pockets. They're not on the bluffs. They're, they're on points. And it seems like the little flatter points with gravel on it seem to be uh, be something to it here. We're picking up another another uh, largemouth, I think. And uh, pay attention to how this one's got it too. He's got it by the by the rear hooks too, I believe. four minutes people how about that so we moved back out to the to the other main lake creek point that we've been creek we've been in and since those fish have been eating the rear hook on the on the mat shad i went ahead and put on a a lucky craft slender pointer in that elegant bone color and it didn't take long to pick another one up on it And you can see this fish has got it by the front hook there. So Sports again, fans. pay attention to how them fish are eating your jerk baits. They might eat it, but uh, make a little color change. Sometimes they'll eat it a little better. Coming off. There we go. How's that? So this would happen several times today. I'll be working my jerk bait, hook up, and then nothing. How about that? Not bad, huh? Quite a few fish. Probably over 10, I'm sure. There's a couple you didn't get to see because the stupid GoPro messed up. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'm Rodney with eFishing. We'll uh, catch y'all next time. If y'all got any questions, Hit them on down there in the comments button. I'll try to help you out. Take care. We're out.